to you're watching this week's episode of The Flash. I'm Bree and this is Tiv. Hey, nice outfit. Thanks, you too. <laughs> Be sure to get to see the girls hockey game tonight at Rosemount at 7 ECU. And on today's show, we have three stories on the boys basketball team, the Dakota Hawks state champions, and a movie preview by yours truly. Hey Tiv, did you go to the Tip Off Classic and see the boys basketball team? No, I couldn't make it, but I hear they are a much different team this year than last. The boys basketball team is different this year. They may have lost some key senior players, but the underclassmen are stepping up to make this season a great one. Callie went out to the Tip Off Classic to get the story. Last year, the boys basketball team was nothing short of successful. But now, this year, the team has lost numerous seniors and most of last year's starters. We lost a bunch of talent, obviously through all the seniors that are gone, but we have a young, new squad that are ready to learn, and we're ready to do whatever it takes to win. We can't really think much about last year. It's all about this year. I mean, it's a new group of guys. It's going to be a fun experience, and I'm looking forward to it. While last year's motto, Ubuntu, was well known around the school, these boys have adapted a new motto to live by. Our motto is Arte, and it's Greek, and it means excellence. It's kind of a journey towards excellence, and it's a long process. So it's kind of like that this whole season you have to go through a process to get to our very best at the end. This new group of guys is sure to be successful, but having fans in the crowd always helps them out. Yeah, last year we did have really good fans because we had a really good team and this year it's a lot different. We have newer players so we're going to need a lot of fans this year too. Come out and support us. We need it. It's going to be a fun year. Signing off for The Flash, this is Callie. Thanks Callie. I can't wait to come watch the boys this year. A less known state championship team are the ECU PI Dakota Hawks. Annie got the story. As many of you may not know, ISU has a few students that are members of the Dakota Hawks adapted soccer team. Dakota United's been around for, for quite a while. The adapted sports in Minnesota is, is one of the things that, as a state, we're very proud of because we provide opportunities for all of those kids. Many of the kids on the Hawks are also teammates on the floor hockey and softball teams, so that has made them grow even closer. Even though player Travis Marsh said they only lost to one team, but well, we beat the rest of the teams we played, so overall it was pretty good. Those regular season victories brought them to state. Difficult. On the CI side this year, we were actually the second place team on the South Division going into the tournament. So as a two seed from the South, it was had to upset the number one seed from the North, um, as well as then turn around and beat Mounds in the finals. Not only was it an exciting game, but an exciting season. As you can see by the smiles on their faces, they are very proud of this big accomplishment. Be sure to congratulate anyone on the team if you see them in the halls. Signing off for The Flash, this is Annie Erickson. Congratulations to the Dakota Hawks on a great season. They are a true inspiration. So Bree, did you want to go see a movie with me over the holiday season? Um, I don't know. I think I'm kind of busy. But I heard there are a lot of fabulous movies coming out over the holidays. Tib did some research on a few of them. With the long break coming up, I went out to see what movies were premiering over the holidays. After doing some research, I found a few that I thought are worth seeing. Premiering on December 14th is the much anticipated movie The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Based on the book and the first story from the Lord of the Rings series, follows Bilbo Baggins along with the quest to reclaim the lost dwarf kingdom of Erebor. With 14 companions, Bilbo discovers many surprises and courage along the way. If you like action or other Lord of the Rings movies, you will like this film. If you're looking for a good kid or family movie for the holidays, Monsters Inc. 3D is a great choice for you. Most of us remember Monsters, Inc. as a movie from our childhood, and now this award-winning Pixar film is back in theaters and better than before, playing in 3D. Make sure to bring your home family to this film, premiering on December 19th. A few good movies also come out on December 7th, the first one being Playing for Keeps. This romantic comedy stars charming Gerard Butler as a down-in-his-luck former soccer player who returns home while trying to put his life back together. While looking for a way to rebuild his relationship with his son, he begins coaching his son's soccer team and soon begins falling for his ex-wife again. This movie is full of emotion and is a perfect date night movie for couples over the holidays, premiering on December 7th. So Isu, be sure to get in to see one of these movies over the holidays. Signing off for The Flash, this is Taylor. Thanks Tim, I can't wait to find some time to go see those movies. I thought you were busy. <laughs> 
Anyways, thanks for watching, Isu. Stay tuned for the credits where Jack and Ben compete for Chipotle. And have fun at today's Pep Fest. Yeah, show your school spirit and cheer loud and proud. Bye. Bye. What's in the bag? Just a Chipotle burrito. I'm real hungry. I haven't eaten since lunch. All right, D1. How about you play me for it? <laughs> right. First person to miss a shot loses. Winner gets the Chipotle. You go first. Fair enough. Let's do it. Easy game. Sixth grade C team. Game on. Try this one. Over the back three pointer. Easy. Wait, you better watch this. Oh. It's time for my specialty. The granny half quarter. Nothing but net. Remember, I'm D1. No way! I'm getting you out on this shot. Off the wall, one bounce, off Henry's face, nothing but net. Check this out. Winner. I knew I'd beat you. Whatever, now, bro. Whatever. Now time for this dinner. McIsaac, what are you doing? Oh my god. 